most of you aren't subscribed. Make sure to exorcise the subscribe button, as it helps out the channel. Without further ado, having sat their written test, Yifa is saddened that she didn't feel so good after the exams, which Seika attempts to cheer her up, encouraging her to do good in the practicals. In the corner are his eyes, Amiu passes by wielding a sword, which piques Seika's interest, as she also has four elemental affinities. Moving outside, the instructor begins the practical exam, placing four targets, one for each element, and asking the students to strike the targets with their respective elements. As most students are only capable of a single magic type, we see students only attack a single target. Being called Yifa steps up, casting a mid-level fire spell, completely erasing the surface of the target, surprising the instructor, as the target was supposedly reinforced. Next Yifa cast a new mid-level wind spell, poking holes in the target, surprising even Seika. Next up is Seika, who cast his blue flames on the target, shocking everyone, but his flames continue to burn indefinitely. Next up is an earth spell, having identified the target to be made of granite, Seika is able to infuse the granite with his key, giving the effect of an earth spell being cast on the target. Finally, for water Seika sneaks a talisman, chanting a spell to have ice be formed around the target. Having never figured out wind, light or dark magic, Seika leaves it at that. That afternoon, the practical instructor speaks with a female teacher, asking if she knows the magical capabilities of Yifa and Seika, which the female instructor says they should have little to no magical capabilities. Additionally, she reveals that Amiu was far more impressive, having not only four elemental affinities, but also light and dark magic, making her possibly the mythic hero. With the results coming out, Yifa begs Seika to not leave her. Looking for his name, Seika is pleased to be ranked third, having maxed out his written scores. But Yifa is more shocked, placing second above Seika, due to her astounding physical scores. Finally Amiu is ranked first, which Seika had anticipated. Receiving a letter of invitation, Yifa wonders if she will be able to serve Seika, but Seika reassures her she should focus on being a student. Whilst walking, Seika notices an ominous feeling, which Yifa recognizes as the dark element, resonating from a forest. Passing some trees, the two discover a ritual circle, which seems suspicious, but they brush off as a school activity, as they head to the entrance ceremony. Munching on some food, Seika watches as Amiu gives a speech stating her reason for being here is to get stronger. Right on cue, some lesser demons break into the building, searching for something. As the demons attempt to harm a student, Seika attempts to step in, but Amiu beats him to it. Slicing at the demon, Amiu follows up casting a wind spell, halting the demon's movements. Asking everyone to run or fight, Seika begins surveying the area using his talismans, spotting a demon around the previously mentioned ritual circle. Asking Yifa to run if there is danger, Seika switches places with a talisman. Under the brightly lit moonlight, Seika begins recounting a poem, as he emerges from the darkness. Pondering on the beauty of the poem, Seika begins to question the demon at hand, but the demon simply wonders why a mere child is here. Summoning several weaker demons, the greater demon is impressed, when Seika dispatches two, sealing away one for himself. Stepping up, Gull Galios summons several blades, introducing himself as an earth and fire caster. Seika's attack is thwarted as Gull is able to see his talismans. Following up, Gull incinerates Seika's surrounding talismans, tossing his blade at Seika. Noticing the suspiciously slow blade, Seika is cut, realizing Gull had teleported his blade, attempting to kill Seika. Slashing his blade, Gull creates a fire slash, forcing Seika to jump, but Gull teleports behind Seika, ripping away Seika's arm. Impressed with Seika's resolve, Gull reveals that he was sent to track down the hero, and today he had found the hero Amiu. With the conversation coming to a close, Gull sends several projectiles at Seika, landing the final blow with his own hands. Wishing to have fought a little longer, Gull is shocked to hear Seika's voice, turning, only to realize Seika is unharmed. Tossing a blade at Seika, Gull notices his blade disappear, demanding to know what happened. When Seika reveals he's able to erase any object he chooses, Gull gets angered, stating he will silence Seika for lying about his strength. Tossing several projectiles, Gull watches as Seika unleashes a tsunami of water, filling the forest with water. 
Having used his teleportation magic, Gull appears behind Seika, swiping at him, but is electrocuted by Seika's summon. Letting his guard down, Seika is impaled from behind, but had used this to grab onto Gull. Asking if Gull had ever questioned the fundamentals of the world, Gull replies that he is still able to fight, as long as he can get rid of Seika's talismans, which Seika responds by revealing his endless amount of talismans. Putting an end to the battle, Seika brings out his most powerful summon, Ryu, a dragon who swiftly devours Gull. Suddenly, Seika's dragon summon begins rampaging, forcing Seika to return Ryu, realizing that his current body is too weak to impose mastery over the dragon. As Yuki comes out of hiding, the two head back to the dining hall, Seika is pleased to see nobody is hurt, including Yifa. But most importantly, Seika witnesses Amiu finish off the remaining demons, deeming to make her the strongest in the world, and having her trust him. Thanks for watching.